Hello everyone and welcome This is the Caribbean and here's St. Vincent <clears throat> and the Grenadines. Now let's have a look, shall we? By the time the Spanish sailed through the waters encompassing St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it was inhabited by the Carib people, but Spain itself made no attempt to settle the islands. Years later, St. Vincent became the home to shipwrecked African slaves, as well as slaves that had fled from nearby Barbados. Their intermarriage with natives gave rise to a people known as the Black Caribs or Garifuna. They managed to prevent British, Dutch and French settlement for quite some time, but the French were permitted a footing in St. Vincent in the early 1700s. The French shipped over more slaves to grow goods such as sugar, cocoa and indigo. The British muscled their way into control, despite French attempts at regaining it, but the Caribs were far less accommodating to the British, and there was, you guessed it, war. The Caribs, led by the chieftain Joseph Chatoyer, fought hard and effectively, and the conflict ended in stalemate. When it became clear that the British had no intention of giving up their claims to all St. Vincent, it was, you guessed it again, war. The Caribs again fought well, supported by France, but the reinforced British, under the command of Rafe Abercrombie, eventually crushed the resistance and deported the Caribs to Honduras. So Britain took St. Vincent, <clears throat> and it also took the cluster of islands to the south called the Grenadines. In 1812 the volcano La Soufrière erupted. The great English artist Turner painted it. In 1834 slavery was abolished. In 1902 that same volcano erupted again, killing over a thousand people. Two big things happened in 1979. The volcano the volcano erupted again, thankfully no one was killed this time, and the country gained its independence and joined the Commonwealth. In 2021, the volcano erupted again, leading to some 16,000 people being evacuated. Listen buddy, you really need to calm down, okay? Anyway, St. Vincent <clears throat> and the Grenadines today possesses a high level of human development, with an economy reliant on agriculture, but with a growing tourism sector too. So that's it for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and that's all from me for now. Bye bye <laughs>